This is a story of two towns and two submarines, Otway and Otama. The town Holbrook has flourished beyond all odds due to its submarine, Otway. Hastings has yet to allow its submarine, Otama, to continue her service to create community benefits, mostly employment and youth opportunities, to the small seaside town that is Hastings. Holbrook embraced its submarine, Otway, and become an iconic Australian country town. Hastings needs to embrace Otama and become one of the premier tourist attractions in Victoria and Australia. This is how one very small country town, Holbrook, became famous. Hastings can do even better. This is the story. Captain, orderly lieutenant in the Royal Navy, a submariner commanding an obsolete boat, get to his on Australian inland town night in his order. <laughs> the story beg his belief as we say back home. You're probably here as well. But here I am, standing in the middle of an array of submarine artifacts in the town of Hullbrook. <laughs> I know little about the purpose of all these objects in a submariner's life. <laughs> but I wish to tell you how Holbrook became known as the Submarine Pal. The manager of the Shire, which was Holbrook Shire in those days, uh, saw that the Otway was going to Japan for razor blades. And he suggested to the council of the day that it should be uh, brought to Holbrook and used as a tourist attraction. A lot of people thought it was a wild idea, but it was certainly doable and council was supportive. Um, the, the person concerned with peace, who had connections with the Navy, he was uh, made aware of a submarine that was being sent to scrap and it was just a very short time away from being sent out to the scrapyard, mm -hmm. scrappy, and he was able to secure this submarine. And uh, local businesses had the foresight of getting their heads together and uh, they could see the future of this being very successful and they started the, uh, the money collecting. Uh, I think they got up to about 100000 and the money ran out. Luckily, Mrs Holbrook, who was now 102 years old, Norman Holbrook's wife, uh, came to the party and gave us a very generous cheque which got us over the bridge and we were able to complete the project. And council has always and will always, certainly whilst I'm around, be supportive of this project because I think this project, the submarine project, gives this town another identity. And I think that's the thing that really is doing it for, for our town here, for our world. It's giving it an identity that this is the town of the submarine in the main street and that's the thing that people nearly always uh, remember when you say, when you mention Holbrook. It's the submarine, well it's just always, there's always people there, busloads of kids come in Monday and Friday, climb all over the submarine, um, they stop and have their morning tea in the town, it's just yeah, fantastic, huge, huge for the town, fantastic. Jim Redwood uh, started this little museum. Uh, we started off with one room, uh, no entry fees, and it was just a few photographs and an assortment of uh, artefacts. And we put in the control room and this hologram room and lots and lots of various bits and pieces that you'll see around and paid for some of the maintenance. We arrived in town and were looking around for some little business to put me in, to you know, keep me busy. And there was a uh, little transportable building next to the submarine. And my hubby said, location, location. It was on the market, let's buy that. We could do things with this. And over the years, we've just gone from strength to strength, watching all the people come and go, walk all over that submarine. It's just been a fantastic tourist attraction. It's been brilliant. Look, I think with the advent um, of the bypass of the town, 
which was a pretty big event and a pretty big thing to happen to this town because we were the last town on the new highway to be bypassed and always the traffic was coming past. Oh, there's that submarine. But certainly now um, there are many, many people who want to come off the highway because of the submarine. And they just are marvelling at why it is here, the whole story of the submarine. And that is still continuing today. We have approximately around about the 10,000 mark who come through the door on an annual basis. Uh, but the actual submarine park uh, would be hundreds of thousands. A classic example of what um, they were able to do with the submarine, one of the things that, that uh, was a huge injection of funds into the town, they yarn bonded, which is knitting, weaving and crocheting. They completely covered the submarine, hence yellow submarine, it was all in yellow. That coincided with 50 years of the Beatles first coming to Australia, International Yarn Bombing Day, uh, the local Woolen Sheep Fair and Centenary of Submariners. And it was fantastic. It was people did day trips out of Canberra. People came and stayed the weekend, so accommodation, evening meals, day meals, it was just fantastic. People would never thought well, a submarine in the middle of town can't possibly be. Our museum, uh, that first weekend, trebled in uh, the numbers, the normal numbers for that time of year. It's like peak summer holiday trade. It's amazing the interest it's created. Well that last day we had a lot of local ladies just sitting there in the dark with torches and mobile phones and sewing up those last bits. Oh, well we've only been two months, would we? Yeah, we've been two months but we can do a lot of work in two months. But it's been great fun and it's created a lot of interest. I've been proud to be part of it. Council's been working, supporting the project with landscaping, maintenance, electricity, you know, supporting this museum here and maintaining something for people to have a look at when they come into town. It's vitally important, vitally important. And I think we keep adding to what's here too, and we're adding value all the time. And I think for repeat visitors, I think that's important that there is extra value coming on all the time. So something that you might need to consider. I would urge the local government and the state government and the people of Hastings to get behind this project, the Atama, is going to be a great tourist attraction and a great money maker for local businesses. Believe you me, you will not regret getting behind this project. Hastings people, get behind this. You won't regret it. I've watched this grow for 12 years and it's been brilliant for our town. It could be brilliant for your town too. Strong for tomorrow, standing strong today. We're bringing it all together, leading the way. We're the team of tomorrow, here today. The Shire Council. Mornington You've got a winner here that can, it's, that's going to attract so many people. <coughs> so many people are going to come down to see that submarine. I don't know why Holbrook should have beaten the submarine base for Australia so far in there. <laughs> However, people do want to see these boats. <coughs> Just rather than sinking things and getting rid of them, they can be utilised like Mac Bryant and his committee have done here. I, I just think it's terrific. The whole of the Mornington Peninsula are going to benefit 
Why does it drive you? I wish you well. I won't be able to help you much longer. I'm bailing out in June. By the way, I'm having more farewells with Nellie Melvin. <laughs>